Hi, this is Brian Way here, and I want to show you a few tips, jigs, and improvements that will help you with the installation of your tail lock. After you're holding your tail lock in place with the third hand or a clamp, be sure to find the center line of the actual lock. You could either mark it right on the frame or use a piece of masking tape, as I did, and transfer that line into the body of the truck. Now hop into the back of the truck, close the door, and use the supplied template and tape it to the floor of the truck on the folded line at where the door meets the frame of the truck. Now be sure to confirm where that first or second rib lands on your template. You're not going to want to cut that rectangular hole on top of a framing member of the body of the truck. Unfortunately, mine landed right on it, so I'm just taping marks on the side of the paper, pulling it back to the point in which I know that hole will miss the rib of the framing of the truck. Be sure to tape down your template securely. Once you're certain of the location, go to your drill bit set and grab a 1 8 and a 1 half inch drill bit. I'm actually using the 8th inch bit to start off and mark the holes and then I'm changing over to the half inch bit to drill out the actual four corners of the hole that I want cut out. Be sure to keep that work area clean for the next process. I'm using the jigsaw for the short cross cuts and then I change over to the grinder for the longer cuts. This new installation jig is a huge time saver over using just your eyeball for alignment. One end of the coupling is made to fit directly over the actuator and the other end of the coupling is made to fit over the pipe that you insert through the end of the tail lock. Simply insert the coupling through the bar stock, push it up until the pipe will push into the end of the coupling and then you can push the coupling into the end of the actuator, therefore centering it perfectly. Now just clamp the tail lock up real tight to the frame, make sure it's parallel to the frame of the truck body, and then all you have to do is screw it in with the supplied screws from FastCap. So from the inside of the truck again, I squared the bar stock coming through the floor and then measured the distance between the bar stock and the door. Now the 8th inch aluminum shim is supplied by FastCap which will be needed for most installations but I needed an additional half an inch to get it past the framing member on my truck body. I tend to use FastCap speed tape for everything and right here I'm using to adhere the metal plate to the wood spacer. One thing that's really important is to be sure to mark out the location of the bar stock on the back of the door. You're going to remove the bar from the tail lock the same way you put it in. You'll notice I drilled two additional holes in the bar stock and I used some power head screws to fasten it to the door first before I drilled my final half inch holes for the carriage bolts. Just confirm that the bar stock lines up perfectly to the tail lock actuator then you can bolt it home. The other cool change is a built in plug and a fuse at the end of the tail lock so all you need to do is run your power to it. And that's it, you're good to go. Close it, click it, lock it. It's that simple. The tail lock.